Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to visualize data with geolayers. So we're going to visualize the population of a few countries here. Therefore, we're going to have a look at the feature browser. We're going to investigate features. We're going to create a data-driven shape layer style that will adjust its color and its extrusion according to the population property of our countries. And we're going to add labels and offset their position according to the extrusion of our shape layers. All right, so let's do this. At first, we're going to import our geographical features. So we want to have a bunch of countries. Therefore, we can download the Natural Earth Countries Global Dataset. So I'm simply clicking this. And GeoLayers is going to download and import all the countries of the world. But we only want to have a few here. So the first thing we can do is enabling this view filter here. So if this is enabled, GeoLayers will only show us the countries that are in our current view here. And I'm going to pick a few here. I will pick Macedonia, Albania, Kosovo, I'm going to pick Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro and Bosnia-Herzegovina. Okay, with this country selected, I click Add Feature Collection. I'm going to name it Population. Now I drag this in my browser and top here. I will remove the rest of the countries here. Okay, as I said, we're going to do some data-driven styling. So we want to investigate those features. So with the feature selected, we can click here at the feature properties. And like this, we can have a look at all the properties this feature has. And we can find this property here, for example, POP underscore EST, which represents the population of the country. So we want to use this data field for styling. I'm going to close the feature properties here. So let's create a map comp. I'm going to double click the feature collection here to fit my view to all these features and I'm going to hit create map comp. I'm going to call this population. I'm good with all the rest so I hit next. I will use this dark style. Great, so let's have a look on how to create a data driven shape layer style. So I'm going to click the shape layer selector here and we can see there's already a lot of styles. I'm going to hit edit styles. What I want to do is I want to create a new style. So I click add style here. I'm going to call this population here. And now we're going to need to think about which properties of the style we want to drive with the data. So the first thing is the color. So I click this little cock here and as it rotates, you can see this represented in the thumbnail here. Um, that means that the style is now data driven. Therefore, we need to define a property from which the values are going to be used. So we already investigated the feature and we know that this is POP underscore EST. Now the next thing is we need a value range. So we need the lowest and the highest population of the country. But that's not hard to find out. Let me show you how. I'm going to quickly hit apply here. And with the feature collection of all our countries selected, I'm going to click feature properties here. And now apart from the properties of the collection itself, you can have a look at the collective feature properties of the contents of this feature collection. And now let's look for POP underscore EST. There we have it. And I can simply copy and paste the min and the max value. Now we're going to define a color. The lower populated countries should appear blue. And the ones with the higher population, we're going to choose this pink color here. If this property is not found, GLAs is going to use this color here. So I'm going to set this to the same blue as the lowest population. What do we need to data drive else? the extrusion. So again, I click the cock here. I'm going to copy the property name. I'm going to copy 
the value range and I will set the lowest and the highest extrusion here. So the lowest should be probably about 50 pixels and the highest should be about 200 maybe. Great. I'm going to drag this to the top here, Ooh, right there, and I'm going to hit apply. Now with my data-driven style selected, you can see previews of the style with the data of the feature down here in the browser. And that the color is changing here means that our style is working. So let's draw this to our map comp. At first, I'm going to make sure that inside map comp is not checked because I don't want to draw this inside our map comp but in the containing comp. With this setting unchecked, I will select the population feature collection and hit draw features. As we have an extrusion in our style, GLAs automatically change the renderer to Cinema 4D and added a simple light setup for us with a spotlight and an ambient light. You can already see that the data-driven extrusion is also working. Now by right-clicking and dragging, I'm going to change the pitch and the bearing a bit here. Now there's one thing I don't like. If I change the rotation here, our light is not following. So there's a simple trick. I'm going to reset the rotation. I will parent my spotlight to the anchor of our map comp and I'm going to rotate it again and see if this works. That worked. Great. Now I would like to label the two countries with the highest and the lowest population. So the highest population is obviously Serbia. So I'm going to select Serbia and click add label here. Let's jump a bit ahead in time. And the reason that the label is not in the center of our country is simply because it is not offset according to the extrusion that we draw here. But we can simply fix this. I'm going to change my preview resolution to the quarter here. And I will change the camera view to left. Now to see where the label really sits we need to switch it to 3D first. And now we see that it's not offset according to the extrusion. But we can do this of course. So with the label selected I'm gonna have a look at the effect controls. And there's a bunch of things going on but the property we need is the geographical position, latitude, longitude and height. So the third value here is the height offset of our label. And we can simply adjust it. And you can see here the highest population in our data-driven style should have an extrusion of 200 pixels. So this matches exactly the 200 pixels of height that we put in here. Now as I have adjusted this, I can switch back to the active view and make this a 2D layer again. Let's do the same thing for Montenegro. I will add a label, jump a bit ahead in time here and adjust the height to 50 pixels. Now I don't want this Montenegro label here to overlap the countries. So what we can do is adjust its anchor point. I'm going to solo this layer. This will simply increase the performance. And as I change the anchor point here, you can see the pointer following it. Great. Now as the next step, I'm going to add a little camera move. This is very easy. I click the keyframe button, jump a bit ahead in time and simply change the bearing a bit here. Once I did that I hit finalize to finalize the underlaying map imagery. To make this look a bit better I'm going to adjust the light here a bit. So I'm going to go to my light options and I will decrease the cone angle a bit and increase the feather. What I'm going to also do is I'm going to duplicate the light here and change its position. So we're almost there. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-comp the containing comp, call this composition render, and I'm going to throw Lumetri color on top of this. I'm going to do a vignette, and I will simply throw a look on top of this. We just created an animation of this data-driven styled countries. You can find more detailed information about all the settings of GLayers in our help. So, thanks for watching, have a great day and bye!